In this video, I'll show you how to use the new YouTube Studio Keyword Research Tool to find video ideas and content gaps so that you can increase your views to your channel, get more subscribers, and hopefully make more money from the content that you create. Welcome to this video. My name is David, and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So, this new uh, research tool is more or less like understanding research insights, and I'll leave a link uh, to this particular write-up from YouTube. And it's more or less uh, where you get a research tab in your YouTube analytics, where you can find what the audience across your channel and on YouTube are looking for. So it gives you a couple of things that you may need to do. So to view your research reports, you go to YouTube Studio and then go to the analytics and then the research tab. You can enter a search topic or basically see what viewers are searching to get to your channel. And you can also save this particular content. Now, is this the end of uh, vidIQ or TubeBuddy, which are some of the analytic tools that you can use to grow a YouTube channel? Maybe, maybe not. But let's see how you get to this particular research tab. So that's step number one. So you'll need to be on YouTube. You signed in and then click on your picture here and then go to YouTube Studio. Now, once you're inside the YouTube Studio, what you'll need to do now is just navigate to the analytics tab. So we'll just come here, click on analytics. And once we click on analytics, there are a bunch of things. There's overview, reach, engagement, audience, revenue, research. This is what we're interested in. I'll just click on that. And once we click on this research tab, you can be able to explore what viewers are searching for on YouTube. So how this tool works is that you can use this tool to research some of the top searches from viewers on your channel and across YouTube in the last 28 days, which is really awesome because you can be able to pick up trends, probably help you gain on something that people are searching for that can help you get more viewers to your channel and subscribers. So there are three tabs at the time of recording this video. Searches across YouTube that help you explore some of the top YouTube searches by topic. You can then see your viewer searches, and this uh, helps you explore searches, search terms relevant to your channel based on what your viewers and viewers of channel like yours are looking for on YouTube. And then you have the save tab where you actually save the search terms that you want to explore and create content on. So we begin with the first one. This first one is where you enter a search term or a topic. For example, I do a lot of subtitling tutorials on this uh, channel. So I may look for uh, maybe uh, something like subtitles to video. Just something of that sort. Just click on that search term and let's see what we get. So there are a couple of things that we'll get here. We'll get the option to how to add subtitles to video, how to add subtitles in YouTube video, add subtitles to video. One thing I'd like you to note is that there's something called a content gap. And a content gap is a way of measuring what viewers are searching for and the results they find. Now, a content gap appears when viewers can't find any results for their searches, viewers can't find an exact match for their search, and also viewers can't find relevant videos for their matches. For example, the content is too old or low quality. You may want to use a content gap as a starting point to research videos that don't exist or could be improved. So this is something that probably I like to look at. And if I click on this, if you click on actually the search term uh, or the result of the search term that you made, click on that, it takes you to the YouTube home results where you'll actually see the results that are available. So there are a couple of uh, people here that have created videos. I'm also there among the top people. Uh, we scroll down, I'll see myself again here. Uh, if we scroll down again, I'll see uh, a ton of my videos inside here. Now, based on these results, you'll see the search volume is high, medium, uh, medium, medium, etc. Now, because we've clicked on the first link here, and I have the vidIQ plugin installed, and you can sign up for vidIQ uh, from the link below, then you'll see with vidIQ, it gives you almost a good uh, overall score of what we're dealing with. So we have a volume of 63 out of 100, which is good, very healthy. A competition that is medium, if it was on the red side, then that would be a problem for us. So you can always see 
uh, what we have here and you can see the top creator is me uh, etc and all that kind of stuff now vidiq as i asked in the initial section is vidiq dead i don't think so because some of these statistics youtube probably may not end up providing but i wish they did uh, to cater for somebody who is who doesn't have the budget to actually do this but that is the searches across youtube that is your channel and based on topics and all that now if you want to save this as a content idea you can just click on this particular uh, save uh, option here just click on that or you can just click on these three dots here to unsave remove report something else that is really awesome is that you can go to google trends if i click on this it will take me to the google trends page to see how this particular topic is faring on over the last 12 months so we have this right here so how to add subtitles to video worldwide past 12 months and this is a youtube search so it's been going down uh it's around 50 out of 100 and you can see that so you can also move down to see some of the countries where it's really being searched for pakistan philippines malaysia canada india if you're targeting a specific demographic then you may want to see that and then the related uh, uh topics right here and then related queries that you can actually use as content gaps to create more relevant content and hopefully increase your views subscribers and if you're monetized make more money so this is what we have something i may not have mentioned is that at the time of recording this video you can filter your searches based on all searches and content gaps only so uh, that will actually help you narrow down uh, next up you can choose the geography at the time of recording this video it's all or australia canada india united kingdom and united states really depends on where your audience is coming from uh really and i'm sure they'll add languages as time goes on but uh, maybe something that would be really helpful is to see if the search volume on youtube is high how is the competition right inside the youtube studio next up we look at your viewers searches this is what viewers are searching on your channel and maybe channels like yours so if i click on this i'll show you what people are searching on my channel and this is based on the different things how to add subtitles to video combine pdfs into one how to add subtitles to youtube uh, video audio to text how to add audio to powerpoint presentation and you can see these are content gaps so that is how uh, the viewer searches and depending on the searches you may have a page two page three or whatever number of pages that are available but it seems more or less that most of the uh, searches on my channel are more or less to do with subtitling of videos now the save tab if you've saved anything here you can see uh, the saved ideas that you have right inside here and the search volume is high so i may need to create more videos on this but i believe i have enough videos sometimes it may feel like repetition uh, so if it's a high quality video that i've created there's no need i'll just let it write out and see how it functions and then the three dots you can go to google trends and save or report maybe a particular uh, search term that popped up inside here but basically if i put it that way that is how you can use the new keyword tool inside the youtube studio to find video ideas and content gaps that will help you create videos that will bring in views to your youtube channel and hopefully get you more subscribers and more money if you're monetized now remember to go to this particular link to read and all that and uh, hopefully if you're interested in getting more analytics to your videos you can either sign up on vidiq or tubebuddy to actually see more of this now that's it from me uh my name is david and that is the new youtube keyword research tool thanks for watching